type of law practice that your father did, was it corporate law? Yes, sir. He wasn't doing divorce law? No, sir. He wasn't doing criminal defense law? No, sir. He wasn't doing anything, um, I don't want to say exciting, he wasn't doing anything dangerous? No. He worked in an office in Atlanta? Yes, sir. To your knowledge, did your dad have any enemies whatsoever at the time no. of his death? No. Did you ever see anybody that had a beef with him or a problem with him or anything like that? Absolutely not. Did you even see around the time of his death uh, that anybody outside the family that he had even disagreements or arguments with or any, even something like a road rage or something like that? No. Could you think of anybody outside your family that wanted to do your father harm? No. Did he have concerns about someone doing harm to him that you saw at that time? Not to my knowledge, no. Your, your dad's health, he would have some things called spells. Tell mm -hmm. the jury what that was. So, best way I can describe it was he would get very weak. Um, he talked very thick tongue, like his tongue was swollen up, and uh, some people would think he was drunk the way he kind of slurred, but he just got very exhausted uh, and wanted to go lay down. And when he would have them, uh, that's what he did. He would go and lay down, you know, either on the couch or go lay in bed, and he would sleep for a couple hours. When did these spells start occurring? I think they kind of started uh, possibly at the old house in Alfred and Hampton Hall, but they got more prominent uh, after we moved to the farm. Uh, they just started occurring more and more and more. Now, is this when he would have these spells? Is it any sign that it was coming on, or were it just all of a sudden just start happening? We talked about it, and he said, yeah, he could kind of feel, you know. He, the first thing that he would notice is he'll feel, you know, really tired, uh, like he wanted to go lay down and take a nap. So um, once he started feeling that, that's when his speech started getting slurry, like he had a real thick tongue. Um, and once that happened, that's when he would just go and lay down. And when he would lay down, did he miss work because of these spells or anything that you know? Well, I mean, yeah, he was sleeping, but... Uh, how, the frequency, how often would these spells come on and how long would they last is what I'm trying to get at. It, he'll have, you know, be, it'll happen like one day a week. Um, I really don't remember him having like one or two spells a week. Uh, so he'll have about, you know, he'll have one, one, one day during the week and then two or three weeks down the road he'll have another one. Was it to a degree that it dramatically interrupted his life and things he was doing? Or was it not that? I remember one time we were working on the farm, uh, I think it was when we were building the fence, and he said, I feel like I got a spell coming on. And... He will go and sit on the RTV, and I'll just kind of look over there and check on him. And uh, I remember that day, I was like, you, are you feeling all right? And he was like, yeah, I just I need to go lay down. I'm like, okay. I was like, I'll, you know, come over there and check on you. Outside of that, did he, um, I think you told law enforcement he didn't have kidney stones or anything like that. Is there anything else you, about his health that you saw that uh, was an issue at the time, around the time of his death? I know, well, before his death, um, there was one night, uh, Melody called me up and said, get over to the house. Your father's acting very strange. Uh, I was like, what do you mean? He's like, he's seeing like palm, I think she said like seeing palm trees and stuff like that. He's just talking weird. And so I immediately jumped up off my couch and left the barn and went over to the house. And yeah, I've never seen my father uh, like that. He was kind of ch talking like a child uh, would. Um, and 
we wound up taking his blood pressure and she bought a blood sugar thing, whatever, she pricked his finger and tested that. Uh, I don't remember what it came back as a reading, but I called a friend that was a nurse and asked her, what should we do? And when I told her the reading, she was like, get him to emergency room now. And we took him to the emergency room. When was that? I don't remember the exact date, but it was definitely within, you know, within a year of prior to his death. So it was fairly, you know. Was that the last time, was that when he was in the hospital? Was that possibly April or was that something else you're talking about? That was probably it then, because it was within that same year of 2018. Uh, so it was just prior to him, to his death, uh, within a, a few months, I would say. But I really don't remember the exact date. Did your dad want to stay in the hospital? No. What did he do? Well, so, you know, we get to the, I remember we got him into the, uh, into the Sequoia. I drove, and... We pull up to the emergency door there. Where'd y'all go? Uh, we went to, uh, I guess that's Northside Hospital in uh, uh, Forsyth, right. uh, exit 14. Um, pulled up to the emergency door and I looked at Melody and I was like, okay, take him in. She's like, no, you take him in. I'm like, no, I gotta park the vehicle. Take him in, he's your husband. You know more of his medical history than I do. So, you know, take him in. So she took him in. Uh, and then he was still very lethargic, I guess would say. he was, uh, But he was starting to get better. And by the time, uh, you know, the doctor finally came in and all, he was kind of back to his normal self. Um, and then they said they wanted to keep him in the hospital and kind of keep track of everything. And he stayed. They want to keep him just to observe him or yes. run tests or what was it? Yeah, they were trying to figure out because, you know, we brought up about him having spells and all this stuff. And he, he's been to the doctor. He went to his physician all the time. They thought it was a vitamin B deficiency and maybe a testosterone problem. or they Nobody could figure out what was causing these spells. Uh, and this was a bad one. I mean, I was worried for the way he was acting. Um, so he stayed in the hospital, I want to say one or two nights, uh, but he was back to his normal self before they even moved him upstairs. And did he check himself out of the hospital and come back home? Yes. Uh, did, he, did you see him have any other symptoms after that? Or? No, I did not. Uh, did he have to have surgery? No. Do you have to have any procedures? Not that I remember, no. Outside of just going to the hospital, nothing really from that? No, not that I can remember. Did he bleed at all during this? No. Did you see his any blood coming from his throat or his mouth? No. Did he? Did you ever see your dad around this time or in this time cough and spit blood up? No, sir. Did he have, did you ever find bloody rags or Kleenexes or the... I did it. There was some type of blood, or your dad had some type of throat cancer or problems, anything with his throat? No, no. Was your dad suicidal? No. Did you see anything about your dad that made you think, you know, my dad's got thoughts about hurting himself or, or killing himself or anything like that? Never once in my entire life. Outside of the spells, is there anything else health-wise that you think the jury should know about? The man had high blood pressure. Uh, pretty much everybody knows that. It runs in my family. Um, but, yeah, I, I was always worried he was going to have a heart attack one day. That was my biggest concern, was him having a heart attack because of how much he smoked and, you know, the amount of Mountain Dews he drank, and he didn't go out and run. Uh Last time I ever remember my dad jogging is when we lived in Birmingham. So, you know. Did your dad like to walk a long distance? No. He liked to drive that RTV? Uh, that RTV was, his butt was glued to it. You talk about your, your, your dad's, I think you could almost, I don't think you said set a clock bomb, but write a book bomb or something about his habits when he would come home. 
he was just would he do the same thing his procedure his routine was the same thing oh yes much? i mean like i said if you were around him enough you would be able to pick up on his routine very quickly he, he was a, he always did the same kind of thing every every day i hear you're a good cook is that true well uh, on in the kitchen uh or, or, or I guess grilling, like, barbecuing? I could do some barbecue. I think your mom, uh, did y'all buy a, near your dad's death, did y'all get a new barbecue or grill or something? Yes, yeah, so I got a, uh, for my birthday that year, I, uh, I was asked what I wanted, and I said I wanted a, you know, an electric smoker. Smoker, that's right. Yes. And did your mom and you use that to smoke something for the family or friends? It was my dad's birthday, I think it was, uh, just prior to his uh, death, uh, uh, smoked a whole bunch of barbecue chicken. Now, on July 5th, 2018 is when you found the remains, and that's that Thursday. Was your birthday two days later? Yes, sir. So July 7th? Yes, sir. Uh, and when was your um, dad's birthday? It was in June, the end of June? June 27th is his birthday. 